What's going on, guys? Welcome back to WDYD CSP. What do you do as a central steel processor? All right, guys, so join me as I assemble a in-house ortho tray. All right, I say in-house because, again, when we think about ortho trays, we tend to think about those loners, right? Well, not all ortho trays are uh, made the same. In-house ortho trays usually are comprised of basic instruments and instruments specific to orthopedic surgery, such as mallets, um, chisels, osteotomes, rondures, uh, bone hooks, etc., etc. So here is a basic um, ortho set. All right, so we start with taking everything out of the basket, lining our basket. Um, of course, inspecting um, our basket for cleanliness, getting our indicators. I'm kind of like unprepared here. So let me go ahead and grab my indicators here. All right. Indicators are in the basket. All right. Now I am getting my tracking system together here to scan my tray so that my uh, count sheet can come up and I can go ahead and match up the items now. One of the big components, and again, I've said this in several videos, in order for you to be successful in what you do and being productive is being able to identify your instrumentation, okay? You may not know all the instruments by heart or by name, um, but you should be able to recognize all the ones that are common in a set. As you see, I've seen the um, Army Navies, I'm looking at the Israel Rake retractors, those are easy identifications, right? Going down the count sheet again, just being able to scan the field quickly and pick out the instrumentation that you recognize right off the back and able to inspect. Now you see with ortho instrumentation, um, they're big. Okay, they're not small instrumentation. Um, there's not much to them. These are all retractors. Um, as you see, I just picked up four retractors. Now I'm looking at part numbers because you want to make sure that you have the right size, right? Um, that's very difficult to determine um, if you don't have a ruler and if it's not documented correctly on your count sheet. So um, you want to go ahead and inspect it. All right, so I grabbed these blunt Holman retractors and you see a little wear on it, okay? Ortho instruments are gonna have those wear and tears. What you're looking for is for any corrosion um, or sharp edges with that wear and tear. I mean, would you replace ortho instruments every single time? Mallets get beat up all the time. Um, the bone tamps, this, this is what you're looking for. See that corrosion on that um, Holman retractor? So I wanna go ahead and replace that and get rid of that. Go look for it. Again, this is where um, knowing where all your backup instruments are at, um, what you're looking for, being familiar with the instrumentation by sight, guys. Um, now, if you're um, in a facility where instrumentation needs to be specific by manufacturer number and by manufacturer, then yes, you want to match up those um item numbers, that description number, as well as that manufacturer. Um, uh, we're basically a kind of toned everything down to one manufacturer. We have several, but when it comes to orthopedic instruments and specialty, we normally keep it to one brand. All right, so again, you wanna inspect your instrumentation for cleanliness, any weld points you wanna be focusing on to make sure that there's no cracks in the welds, all right? Looking at these uh, sharp brake retractors, making sure that the teeth aren't bent. Okay, I put them in and out um, in one another like so to protect the end user, right? That is the purpose of constructing a um, set is to protect the end user. Now I have some sharp Wheelanders here and I um, want to go ahead and put some tip protectors on there. I covered tip protectors in another video, so check that out as well. Okay, placing that in the set as well. And just checking off boxes here, making sure that I have the right quantity, um, the right size, that the instrumentation is clean. Okay, so um, I look, and again, looking ahead on that count sheet, knowing what to look for, right? All right, so, okay, checking the sharpness of my instrumentation, and again, making sure that when I test it, I don't have any residual, right? 
Okay, and this is a sharp instrument, so I want to go ahead and put a tip protector on it. So, currently searching for the right size. Okay, so bear with me here. Eh? So, I had to put that to the side because I didn't have the right size, right? All right, there we go. As I test, again, looking to make sure that there is no residual um, testing material on the instrumentation. All right, again, this is wasted movement, right? This is wasted movement. Making sure when you start the day, and I'm being honest, you know, when you start your day, and a lot of times you can't anticipate it, I'm gonna keep it real, but you wanna make sure that you have all the supplies that you need to complete the task at hand, all right? You shouldn't have it be going back and forth. Like here, I had to go get um, the right size tip protectors for this tray. Thought I had it in my little tackle box here in my little cubby, but I did not. Okay, when you put your tip protectors on, again, make sure your tip protectors are not super snug. Um, again, they're going to shrink some in the sterilization process, so they should be easy to take off on the field. Okay, all right. Looking through the count sheet again, looking for my next item description. Okay, so I know I'm looking for some curettes here, so I looked ahead and now matching out the sizes that is required okay so i'm gonna go ahead and inspect it for cleanliness and then sharpness okay again if i'm gonna put a tip protector on it i'm looking for the right size tip protectors if not again you want to make sure that you place it in the bottom of the set um, where it's not going to damage the tip of those curettes okay trying to find my angle here go continue checking off boxes again make sure when you guys find the instrumentation that you check it off on your count sheet so that you don't get confused or lose your place on the count sheet and think oh you know i seen this instrument but i didn't check it off or why did i check it off because i needed to replace it or because i didn't have it right okay moving on okay Again, I always run my fingers over it, again, to make sure I'm not feeling no extra rough surfaces um, or anything of that nature. Looking at my osteotomes here, okay, pulling my tape tip protectors on that as well. All right, and again, this is a basic um, ortho set. Okay, looking at our Ron George, anywhere where there's a screw, you want to inspect it. Make sure those screws don't aren't backing out. All right, so found the right page here. It's a little index card, you know, snapping off. Make sure you hear like that little hole punch um, for the sharpness. And again, collecting the testing material residue, making sure that it's not left on the instrument itself. Okay, very important. You don't want to have the end user confuse anything for bio burden. All right, some grip pliers here. Again, you want to open it up make sure you're looking for all the cleanliness in there and again if you open it up and it comes apart to some degree you have to know how to put it back together now here I'm playing with this instrument trying to find how it goes back together I finally figured it out and then close it up so it doesn't pop open on the field and continuing my testing process and my identification process I'm sorry all right what we got here we actually have what instrument is this oh this is a wire cutter so you're cutting on an angle here you want to catch the angle of the cardboard and get a good popping sound like a hole punch and again retrieving that test of material i can't reiterate that so many times because i've inspected and audited trays open it up and i'm like okay i know what it is but the end user will not know what it is all right, drills, I'm on the fence with drills. I think drill bits are one of those instrumentations or one of those um, tools in our ortho um, kits that we need to figure out a way to test them for sharpness. Um, these aren't like your home drills. Um, they work similar, they're going into bone, but how do you test for sharpness or function of those? Okay, now these were all extra instruments in the set that don't belong, and that happens, right? So. Anyway, guys, as always, stay true to yourselves. Keep it 100. Continue educating yourself. Until next time, guys. Peace.